Alright, hey, what's going on, guys? Camps here. I'm recording this with you. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to be basically showing you guys how to make a uh, little uh, ripple effect, uh, a black ripple effect here. Um, so, basically, what you're going to want to do is, um, well, I'm going to get attached to my instruction first, but, um, I'm going to create a green GUI inside the start GUI, and uh, inside that uh, screen GUI, I'm going to create a frame. And I'm going to send you the spam real quick. Just gonna just have this all just representing like maybe a shop GUI or something. Um, so yeah, you got your parent frame, whatever you're gonna be using, and you gotta place a text button inside of your parent. Uh, frame whatever you're going to be using for this. And I'm personally going to center mine uh, just for the example. And I'm going to set this to 24.1. And I'm going to disable the uh, border. And I'm going to make this just uh, slightly gray. And I'm going to just change the font just for the sake of customization of this. And I'm going to change the size just for the sake of customization and the text. So, yeah, this is the little button. Oh, and two things uh, disable auto button color and uh, enable clips descendants. And, uh, but it's good to go. So what you're going to want to do next is put a local script and a image label into this, uh, inside this text button. Um, I'm going to name this uh, sample. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to disable the background. Um, going to make this um, the image color is going to be black. And transparency is going to be 0. 0.6. Now, I have a pre made circle here. I can link this in the description for you guys if you guys want to use this. Um, and then you're just going to make this all zero. Now, it's going to be placed inside the local script, and we can get started on the script itself. So we're first going to get the player's mouse, so we're going to go local ms in this game, then just go local player, so get mouse. Uh, this is going to be used later on when we go ahead and try and, you know, basically wherever you click on the button, it's going to um, fire that uh, ripple. It's going to put that ripple right where you clicked. So that's where it's going to use that to get the player's uh, Mouse position where they click. Um, I'm going to create a variable for the button and it's in the script up here. And I'm going to just create a um, uh, variable for the sample, and which is a script called wait for child sample. Uh, now we're going to create a function when the uh, button is clicked. Uh, dot mouse button one click connect function. Ooh, function. Drop the line, whatever. Um, so we're going to clone the sample. So we're going to go local C equals uh, SP clone. clone. Um, and uh, we're going to set the parent of the uh, sample or the clone sample to the button. And so this is where we're going to get the mouse position, and we're going to do like all the uh, math to position the circle. So we're going to go uh, local um, x and y. So this is two separate variables uh, equals uh, ms.x minus um, c.absolute position. And copy 
that, we're going to do dot x here, and, and for y, it's going to be ms dot y minus uh, c dot absolute position dot y. Um, now we're going to do c dot position uh, equals uden to dot mu. Well, it would help if I uh, actually actually capitalize this new. And we're gonna put this at zero, comma uh, x comma zero comma y. Um, next up, we're going to get uh, we're gonna create two new variables. So the first one is gonna be len or time or whatever you want to call this. This is going to be how many seconds, um, it's how long the animation is going to be basically, and then we're going to make the size, which will be used for the, um, the tween. So, well, both these are going to be used for the tween. So, yeah. Um, we're going to set len to 0 0.35. You can set this wherever you want, but I'm going to use 0.35 and size can be set to more. So now we're going to uh, basically set the size or uh, set the value of size uh, right here. So we're going to go if button dot absolute size dot x is greater than or equal to button dot absolute size dot y, then size equals um, button dot absolute size dot x times 1.5 and then we can go ahead and copy this line here and then else and just change the x to a y <clears throat> so now we're going to actually use all that we just made here uh, we're going to see colon between uh, size and position. Uh, we're going to use it to dot new 0 comma size comma 0 comma size. We're going to use it to dot new at 0 0.5 comma negative size divided by 2. And this, we can go ahead and copy because we're just going to use this at the end. Um, 0 0.5 comma what we just copied. And we're going to set this to out. Um, we're going to use quad um, len uh, true and nil. So that basically is the animation uh, for the size and position, the tween size and position. So now we're going to make it disappear. Um, so C for uh, I equals one comma ten do uh, C dot image uh, transparency. And we're going to go ahead and copy this because we're going to use this equals C dot image transparency plus zero point zero five. Uh, we're going to wait len divided by 12, and once all that's completed, c on uh, destroy. So that should work. Um, I will put the link to the image in the description along with the model for this. Um, so basically, uh, yep, works just fine. Perfectly. Uh, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, uh, leave a like. If you guys want to see videos uh, like this in the future, um, be sure to subscribe. And if you guys have any suggestions for um, videos in the future you guys want to see, uh, just put them in the uh, comment section below. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead and post your uh, questions down below in the comments. And I will reply to them as soon as I can whenever I see them.
basically. Um, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace.